Hi, second graders. Welcome to your math lesson for today. We're going to be talking about place value again. So I have a number up here on my board, and my number is 324. And we know that that is the same as saying I have three hundreds, two tens, and four ones. Well, I thought it would be really cool to show you a little visual of that number, 324. So I'm going to pull my screen down to show you what I mean. These are called hide zero cards. So the number 324, if I pull it apart, I'll show you what I mean. There's my 300. There's my 20. And there's my fours. You see my zero is hiding? And then I pull it back together and I have my 324. I'm going to do that one more time for you. 324. And that's just another way of breaking the number apart so that you can see visually how we break up our place value. So now we're going to start with that number for our first activity. And what I would like for you to do in your math folder, you're going to need to get your base 10 blocks, so those yellow blocks that you have. Go get those. And then you need your hundreds, tens, and ones chart. So go grab those things for me. Go ahead and pause if you need to. Pause. Hit your pause button and go grab those things. And I'm going to get my area set up. All right, friends, you should be back with your supplies. You're going to have your hundreds chart sitting in front of you. And we're going to start with the number 324. So we're going to make that with our flats, our hundreds flats, our rods, our tens, and then our cubes, our ones. So go ahead and make that for me, 324 on your chart. I'm going to give you a little bit of time to do that before I make mine. 324. All right, I'm going to start building mine. I'm going to start with my hundred. So there's 100, 200, 300. I need 20, 10, 20. And then I'm going to go to my ones place and one, two, three, four. Is that what you had? Yay, good job. All right, we're going to move that number away and clear our board. Your next number is 53. Start building 53 for me. 53. 53. All right, friends, are we going to have anything in the hundreds, please? Oh, there's nothing there in the hundreds place. We need to start in the tens place. We have five. One, two, three, four, five. We have a three in our ones place. One, two, three makes 53. All right, go ahead and clear that off. Your next number is 402. 402. Start building that for me. 402. Are we ready for the answer? Good. We're going to start in our hundreds place. How many do we need? We need four flats. One, two, three, four. What do we have in our tens place? Do you see anything there? Nope. 
We're not going to put anything there. We're going to move to our ones place. One, two. So that shows 402. Go ahead and clear your chart. Your next number is 64. Start building 64. Sixty-four. All right, anything in the hundreds place? You see anything there? Is there a third digit? Nope, nothing there. So let's start here in our tens place. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And we have four in our ones place. Sometimes I like to line those up. One, two, three, four, sixty-four. Go ahead and clear that for me. We're gonna do one more practice. Your number is 213. Start building that for me, 213. I bet you're starting to get really fast at this. The more you practice, the better you're going to get. It's true with anything. Okay, see three digits. That means we're going to start there in the hundreds place. We have a two. One, two, two hundred. How many in the tens place? One. We have three in our ones place. One, two, three, two hundred and thirteen. All right, friends, if you want to keep practicing, you can grab your number book and flip through there. Find some bigger numbers and start challenging yourself. Make some more. All right, I'm going to clear that. And I do have, let's see here, on our paper, you're going to practice the pictures that we did yesterday. So you're going to put your squares, your, so your quick hundreds, your quick tens, and your quick ones. So your squares, your lines, and your dots for your hundreds, tens, and ones. And then I believe, oh, this will be easy. You're practicing your math facts. I think you're going to see a couple doubles on the back and near doubles and maybe some friends of 10 on there too and i have just one thing to show you back here on the board i found a fun game on awesome websites if you have time so you're going to go to students click awesome websites Go to ABC Yacht, that first square up there. Grade two. We're going to numbers. And on this first row, all the way over here to base 10 fun, you're gonna click this one right here. And it's this cool little game that you get to practice your hundreds, tens, and ones. It's taken a while, so I'm going to let you explore. All right, friends. You have a great weekend, and I will see you next week for math. Bye-bye.